Good afternoon, people. Uh, so disappointing. So now, the Niners are 0 7. I don't understand why we are 0 7. By the fact that we've lost so many games by under three points, and we get damn blown out by the bum Cowboys. I thought we could just murder the Cowboys. The Cowboys are not even that good. They're not even well organized. The defense is trash, and I don't know how we only score 10 points. It's very, it's very, very discouraging to watch the Niners play because it's just so bad. It's just, oh no, no, no. I mean, every time I scroll up through social media, they're like, oh, all the Cowboys players are like, oh, blessed day, good win. <sighs> how do you explain the state of the 49ers right now? It's incredible how we're not delivering wins we're all in seven. Like, we are the same level as the Cleveland Browns. We should never be the same level as the Cleveland Browns. Because the Browns are trash. They're just called the Browns. They should just change the name. It's not because of the brown, the color. It's just the Browns. Like, who wants to be the Browns? Like, I guess racism takes part in that. But the Browns really... 0 oh, and 7 teams, like we're much better. I'm, I'm fucking frustrated. How we're the best 0 oh, and 0 oh, and 6 team ever, and we get damn blown out by the Cowboys, who just the first drive was unbelievable. Forced a three and out. I thought the Reuben Foster's presence in the defense would change this game, but nope. Punt, fumble, and then 7-0. And then like a damn Ezekiel Elliott just runs the defense over. And then 14-0. And it's basically a murder after that. And then get a garbage time touchdown. Which I don't even, I'm not even proud of. It's just so discouraging for me to watch the Niners play. And the state is just, I don't understand. And people say Reuben Foster is an injury prone. And if he gets injured again, I mean, that is classified as injury prone. But I heard that he's good to go against the Philadelphia Eagles, who are so somehow are six and one. And I don't fear the Eagles. Like there are some good teams, like like Patriots, that are like really really good. Like I don't expect them to win against them. But the Eagles are just like they're just like the Raiders last year. They like win in a close games. They somehow find a way to win. Their defense is good. Their offense has been emerging. But it's not like a real like a threat to the NFC. It's not really a threat because they're just winning close games and stuff. I hate, I hate when we keep saying that next year, we gotta do well next year. Because what is there next year? Every year, I'm damn frustrated. It's because I've been watching good football of 11 and five football, a 12 and four football. 11-4-1 football where we always go to the playoffs and we find a way to win and it's always exciting for the Niners for me to watch the game but now 0-7 we're all backed against the wall now I thought 0-4 okay we can still win but now 0-7 that's incredible I mean this is the message to the damn 49ers organization like I can do whatever I can to help the Niners win I don't care what I can do I can just literally be a water boy and Damn, help the Niners win. Because I want to see what's going on. I keep searching in the offseason. Okay, what's going on? What's going on? Where, how are the first round picks doing? How are all the draft picks doing? Like, Navarro Bowman left the team probably because he didn't want to lose. He, he was tired of losing, basically. Like, he keeps saying, oh, I'm getting benched. Yeah, you always have to get benched because you're tired in every play. Linebacker, you got to run everywhere it's probably because and damn the Raiders won that in a close game by that stupid penalties in the end and it's just ah uh, it angers me to see but at least Navarro Bowman has faith still faith in the Niners he always he thanked the Niners I mean that's what you're supposed to do but some players like let's say Eric Bledsoe at the Phoenix Suns like seriously 
he said, I don't want to be here. And he, he referred to it as a damn barbershop. <laughs> Come on now, like, that's real. Like, are you serious? It's like, it's like getting caught doing something. You're like, oh, you're just hiding it when they see you. Like, really? Do you really think you're going to get away with that? Okay. So the Eagles, we have to beat the Eagles somehow. I don't want to see the Niners go 0-16. And, and last year, look at last year. The Niners, I thought the Niners won the Super Bowl. When they celebrated the interception against Jared Goff to win the Week 16 game, our second game of the season, I thought we won the Super Bowl. The whole bench were jumping up and down. I don't want to see that anymore. I want to see winning as just a regular basis. Re winning, it's like, okay, we won, so that's good. Not like jumping up and down like we won, we won the Super Bowl. Like, damn. Just, I can do what I can. I want to do what I can to win. I want, like, the Niners probably is the only thing that that can relieve my stress basically like coming out of five AP classes already stressed and even Niners losing Owen seven times in a row that builds up my stress probably seven times like like my parents always ask me like like what do you have any personal relations or anything to the Niners I'm like okay I, I get asked a lot but it doesn't matter that team is the only team that can relieve my stress. And like watching movies, no, I hate movies. I don't understand why people watch movies because like watching movies, it doesn't, it's, it's fictional. Like maybe non-fictional, we can learn something from it. Like who watches non-fictional? Seriously, if you're watching movies to relieve your stress and not add your stress, not add emotions, just try to laugh and just relieve the stress. Like you're watching fictional movies. Like you're you're being sad at a character who died, and they're getting millions and millions of dollars. So Niners, but Niners different. Like I have faith to it. I like cheer for them. It's not like you cheer. Can you cheer for a movie actor? I don't understand. Like I don't know if you can, but it doesn't matter. I believe the Niners can go nine and seven. They have the talent. The young defense keep hearing the young defense part but we're not delivering it so if you have enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel the outrageous act is about to come soon if the Niners go 0 16 the 0 and 16 is in our doorsteps and if we don't win then we're basically done I hate saying next year like I love saying next year in like as a junior I want to be a senior but that's different that's gonna happen. It's spontaneous. It's gonna happen. So click that subscribe button because it's gonna be lit every single day. You've seen the, the video before. That beastness. That I'm gonna unleash the beast. I don't even know what I'm gonna do to unleash the beast, but I'm going to. And I don't care if this company sees me or if the cemetery hears me or this apartment hears me because it's gonna be lit soon and i will see you tomorrow and just ah uh, damn 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 i just feel so bad i feel empathy for the niners with this ah uh, no 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 and see you tomorrow